Okay, guys, welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. Now, you probably wondered why I'm wearing my Gen 2 suit, and that is because today, in celebration, kind of, of beating the brood mother on Alpha, we are go I mind wiped and put all my points into crafting skill. So today we're going to be able to craft some really cool things. And today, we are going to start off the episode by crafting two really cool things. We're going to start off with a bag. I've actually moved most of the resources already, so you guys won't have to watch a person with only 100 weight move all the resources. And we're going to go up to the roof to the tech replicator. And we are going to craft ourselves some pretty neat little things and blueprints I got and as you can see we're gonna go ahead this is probably gonna be a little bit leggy first off we're gonna start with uh, the unenforced uh, uh, enforcer so we're gonna see how much we get off of our crafting skill here and that is Oh, we only got a 1.4 crafting bonus. Ooh, well, good thing we did the Enforcer first. And we're going to be looking at both of these guys here. And uh, the mech. This is a very good mech blueprint. And it is 280 damage and 193% health. So let's go ahead here and see how them turned out. As you can see... That was most of our resources right there. We will go ahead and check uh, this out here. Put them in there. And our mech got a 26% crafting skill. Honestly, I'm happy with that. I was hoping for like 60, but we will do be okay with that. So let's go ahead and throw these guys down over here so we can take a look at them in our very pen's getting kind of crowded as late but we have a lot to do with these crafters so here we go that is a enforcer and we uh, uh this guy right here pretty cool he's quick can jump climb on stuff and this is the ascendant version version now he does get levels so this guy is pretty good, and he will get a little bit better. Now, these guys aren't really useful. I just had the blueprint uh, on this map, and I wanted just to use it. But we are down the road going to fight Titan, the Titan boss. Obviously, we're doing all the bosses. And we got a little bit of a leg spike here. We're going to hop off him when it quits legging. And we are going to do place the mech which is going to be really cool here we go all right so and we will play with this guy later in the episode too but oop come on place oh come on it looks like we have a little bit of leg here again all right i will be right back Alright, and we'll back up, and this is what he looks like, guys. And he had a, you know, he was a 212 blueprint, and now he is a 248, so that crafting skill was really good for us. He's got almost 400 melee. Now, these guys, you can't actually level up. As you can see, he's getting no XP, so there will not be any you know, leveling up deals. Now we have some stuff for him that we're going to take a look at. And actually, we can do that right now. We'll fight him later with him and later in the episode. And we'll paint him different colors because uh, obviously, as you guys know, the red is not going to cut it for us. And then we'll also compare him to a plain mech too as I will craft one of them up. Alright, okay, so this is a normal mech right here. As you can see the stats, this is a base one that you could normally craft without a blueprint. It is level 51, 
14,000 health, 181% damage, 2,000 stam. So let's go over here and look at that. Oh, that's his other foot. And our guy has uh, almost three times the health, three times the stamina, some insane weight. And, all right, that's not it. We're also going to craft this one as well and see how that one turns out as well. Holy cow, this one did not turn out bad either. We got 50% crafting bonus. And we're going to do another one. How did it turn out? Not too bad. Okay, and now we're going to craft our twoest of mechs. Then don't be confused, this one might be a 138, but it's got 253 uh, damage uh, on the blueprint, which is crazy high for this level. Um, and we're just going to craft the other one because we have that one as well. So let's craft that and let's go ahead and craft this one as well. Let's see what the boost is we got on it. Not bad at all. This is a couple really wow 70 percent crafting skill on this one that's crazy actually yeah, that's probably the most crafting skill i've got on almost anything definitely on this character for sure anyway so i got a 69 percent crafting boost which is you can see the stats are a lot higher than what they were going to be okay we are back and i have crafted up some items and we're going to talk about this crafting skill dealio first off the uh, one of the things we crafted is we have this ungrindable blueprint and uh, the crossbow blueprint so i want to make sure so the ones that you see with this arrow side are ones we did off of this blueprint now this blueprint has less durability and we were hoping to get the crafting skill on it and because it's a non-craftable it can go over the max cap of 298. Normally you can only get a, something up to 298 as a crossbow. Um, this one can't get over the max cap but it has much better durability. So you kind of have to figure out, oh, that is a Shadow Main reject. There might be a few more of them. Ones that didn't work in the breeding program. But, back to what we were saying here. You have to determine whether it's better to build this blueprint or this blueprint. And for me, dur durability is better. Even though we get something like a 306 crossbow, it only has... 483 durability where is if you were to look at one of these really high-end crossbows you're gonna see durability like that one right there over a thousand that's insane you know that's quite a bit of durability a lot of these are gonna have a lot more durability than these other ones and these ones aren't even max damage down here so you have to keep that in mind when you're doing that now we're only going to use a few out of here. But <clears throat> I did want to test my crafting character, or my crafting ability, by taking the an 82 armor non-grindable and seeing oh, if I could get it over one, um, 124, which is most saddle caps. Now, as a rule of thumb, the crafting bonus you get is generally half of your level. So, I can it, I can get a 73.3 crafting bonus. And as you guys can see, some of these, some of them you get unlucky, only get like a 3%. But other ones, like for example, this one was a 721 and you can see we could almost we almost got to that 124 number as you see there so if we had gotten a 73 we probably got would have gotten over to the 124 but that's okay these are going to be the new saddles we're going to use eventually on our boss dinos um so that being said guys what we're going to do here now is i'm going to sort these out and I think we're going to take a break from crafting saddles and we're going to work on our recipes. Okay, we are going to be looking at how to make a recipe correctly. So 
So we're, you need to use the cookie pot. That's the only way to do it. Now, whether you're doing food or drink, this will help you out. But anyway, as you can see, this is our old recipe we made a long time ago on the Let's Play series. And you can see a nine crafting skill. I have pumped all my points into crafting skill. As you can see, the chat is in the way. We are unofficial, guys. But there it is, 1555. And as you go over here, you can see this one, we were only like level 90 when I made that. Um, and what you're going to want to do is this. So you're always going to get the same number. I'm going to show you this here. 15-5, 15-5, same food, same health, you know what I mean, same everything. The one thing though is, Focal Chili doesn't help blueprints or crafting in any other way, but it actually does help you with your recipes. As you can see here, this one was made without the recipes and I lost one point on it. So make sure you have taken your recipe and you're going to put a note in here. Highlight it and then make a recipe. Whatever you are doing, guys, your end of game goal is you're probably going to want to test it out. So we're not going to color it, but you can see you can pick different things here. Um, see, this is a drink. This is food. And you can actually make different ones as well. We're not going to be doing, or I'm not too worried about it, but you can switch your foods. Um, but I'm just showing how you guys how to do it correctly. You can color each region like this and let's do one as maybe green so you can see you can get pretty fancy with it. But generally your normal food that you're going for, you're going to want to try to get a hundred food or a hundred water unless you're a crazy person and have more than a hundred water or food. <laughs> Now, if you're trying to make some cave things, that are recipes that are going to be good in caves, there's other things that can help you out, like element dust, and you just play around. You put stuff in there. Now, as you can see, our old recipe was made with cooked meat, and it took 10 cooked meat to get, to, uh, get our over 100 food. As you can see now, as uh, this recipe's already pre-made, we can now do it with six. So... Crafting skill and your levels play a huge role in getting it there. Um, for uh, this one, we're going to make that recipe. We're going to do the food, and you're going to see exactly. We're just going to do it with six raw meat. And like I said, if you are doing it for uh, the drink, berries are probably your best starting point. And if you're going to do caves, you can add stuff like almond dust to these recipes to help you out with health and stamina uh, or it was stims and stuff like that you just want to play around and see what is right for you i can't tell you what is going to be right for you i generally always use raw meat or cooked meat for my food um if it's a like a recipe that i want to heal me a lot and also use it like a medical brew i'll use cooked meat more with some element dust but anyway here's as you guys can see we just crafted that up and you can see right there, that is the one. This was our one without the focal chili, just to show you that it didn't. you do want focal chili, but you can see it is the same as the others. Um, hopefully, when you guys are using this, this will help you out. All right, so we crafted a bunch of stuff. A lot of it, as you can see, went into here for extra gear. But this is the best of the best that I crafted. We got some a full max set of ghillie. And as you can see by this blueprint to this Giga one, 24,000 hide, 12,000 fiber, and 4,000 metal is not super cheap. But it's not too bad either. And we got super lucky. And every Giga set we crafted was 124. Also, just because I want to be a dork. <laughs> I crafted Ascendant Slingshot. Uh, they're fun to use once in a while. So here are our long necks. We got one... Um, wait, we got one right here. This is one I had had, but I didn't even know I had it. And it had more durability, so we're going to be using that. And our gear, all with over a 1,000 durability. Crazy. Some of this has 1,200. 
and that will be super helpful. Oh, I think I have my chest piece over in here. Yeah, I put the chest piece accidentally in the wrong one. Or did I put them in this vault? Sometimes I'm not super organized. Um, Looks like I didn't put them in here. But anyway, we got chest piece too, guys. And I make sure I put the blueprints away. I'm going to mind wipe, and then we're going to go out and play with the Mexa. Oh, yeah, as a, a little type of a cool bonus, we're going to show you uh, the mech in action. Um, this was a last-minute deal, but like I said, a pretty cool bonus. We painted up the mechs and took them over to Extinction. One of our friends was running the King Titan fight, and uh, we'll do a quick little um, bit of uh, the fight for you guys so you can see how these mechs are used. Also, I have the rocket pod attachment on where I can shoot 16 rockets at once, but that is a quite expensive feature. And I just want to show you a few little highlights of the fight. I don't want to ruin it for you because eventually we're going to be fighting it, or uh, actually fighting it as well. But I did show you, say that I wanted you guys to see the mechs in action. And just keep in mind, the King Titan actually has a huge damage resistance to dinos. So this really, this was the highest mech there, or at least highest damage, I do believe, mech there. Especially because I have only one with the rocket pad attachments. So outside of the two titans that you see tamed fighting, uh, I definitely was doing a large amount of damage as the Gigas don't do very much damage. And uh, one, of, one of their friends has just suicided a bunch of Gigas for the heck of it. But anyway, here you go is go.